Epilogue A Dan in Toai Santosako, a highly respected senior monk in the Thai forest tradition, took a special interest in Mei Chi Gao and her enduring legacy. Born in a village near Ban Hui Sai, and ordained as a novice monk at the age of eleven, he had known Mei Chi Gao since childhood. It was reputed that they shared a spiritual connection spanning many lifetimes a karmic relationship Meiji Gao herself frequently acknowledged. Shortly after the funeral, Ajahn Itawai resolved to honor her memory with a monument giving form and vision to her simple grace and pure compassion. He envisioned a place where people from all walks of life could gather to recollect her extraordinary virtue and pay homage to the relics of a female arahant. After many years of careful planning, his vision finally became a reality. Together with a group of railway engineers from Bangkok, Ajahn Intawai designed and built a memorial stupa with a broad trapezoidal base topped by a gracefully tapering spire. The building took shape on a high, flat stretch of ground adjacent to Ban Hue Sai Nunnery, an imposing structure that rises nearly 80 feet from the base to the crown. The stupa housing her relics is surrounded by a circular pool of cool, clear water its surface bursting with pink and purple lotus blossoms. The water is rimmed by landscaped sections of tropical flower gardens, interspersed with natural rock formations and hedged by rows of neatly trimmed shrubbery. Tall, shady trees line the outer periphery. An atmosphere of unusual peace and serenity pervades the entire area. The Meiji Gao Memorial Stupa was officially opened on May 21, 2006. It has since become a place of pilgrimage for devout Buddhists from all over the world. Her magnificent relics, with their gemstone-like qualities, are prominently displayed on the altar. The stupa is home to three life-size statues of Meiji Gao. Tucked into the main alcove is a standing statue of Meiji Gao made of composite materials. On the second floor of the stupa, high on the shrine's altar, sits an elegant wax reproduction, dressed in the white robes of a Meiji. A pure white fiberglass statue of her walking in meditation dominates the stupa's ground floor. The intricately crafted copper doors and windows on the second floor were designed and built by a renowned national artist. Ajahn Mahabua kindly presided over the official opening ceremony when her relics were formally enshrined in the stupa. On this auspicious occasion we are honoring Mei Chi Gao a noble disciple of Ajahnman whose bones have now been transformed into exquisite crystal relics. The attainment of arahantship is not based on gender. When any person, whether male or female, succeeds in eliminating all mental defilements through the perfection of spiritual virtue, that person becomes an arahant. All of us should strive to follow the superb example Meiji Gao set by perfecting spiritual virtue within our own hearts. A wholehearted respect for her supreme spiritual achievement is equivalent to worshipping the Lord Buddha, the Tamma, and the Sangha. We can all take refuge in her unblemished purity.